Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to take the governor off your Predator 212 engine. Now this process would be similar with the Predator 420, but um, I'm not going to get into that. So firstly what I'm going to do, i got to drain the oil. So yeah, let's get into draining the oil. After taking off the clutch, you got six bolts to remove. Um, make sure you do remove them in the crisscross pattern. Uh, it's going to be my attempt to save the gasket. They are 10 millimeters, so yeah, let's get into unscrewing these. After removing all those bolts, um, I'm going to try to take this cover off without ripping the gasket because if I do rip it, I'm going to have to go buy some gasket maker. Give it some taps. Dang it, I ripped the gasket. So after taking off the gas tank and the air filter, um, I'm going to take this little governor arm off. What I'm going to do now is remove this. So I just removed that. It was holding the governor arm. There we go. Now after removing the governor arm, we have this little thing right here. And we there's no way we're able to push it out of the engine. So we're going to have to cut it right here. So there is part of the governor arm, and now we have to find some way to seal that hole up. So now if we look inside the engine, um, I'm going to start by taking this white little cap off. There it goes. Eventually. I pulled out my governor right there, and um, I'm currently in the process of removing my, my uh, oil sensor right there. So one of the things that happened was my camshaft fell out, as y'all can see, taking a bath in some oil. When it first fell out, I thought it was going to be the end of the world. But um, it turns out that I should have had my engine standing upright like this. So make sure y'all do have your engine standing upright like that or else your camshaft will fall off. And if you do run into a situation where you need to put it back on, this dot right here and there's another dot on the camshaft that have to match up exactly. Now, this uh, oil sensor, when we remove it, it's going to give us more oil space. So, we're going to be able to add more oil in there to lubricate the engine. Make sure you don't lose anything inside the engine. I've had that problem, and I thought it was the end of the world. But So, out comes the oil sensor. I'm going to have to cut that. And I'll be right back. There's the last bit of the oil sensor. I'm going to have to go to Home Depot and find a screw just like this. So yeah. I believe I got everything resolved by now. I put my camshaft in. I'm going to clean up the engine. And I need to go run and buy some gasket maker because my seals are screwed. I plugged this hole right here with the bolt. Um, it is a little bit short. I just put some Loctite on it. Hopefully it won't fall off because then it will just jam my whole crankcase. And it will screw up my whole engine. And then I still have to plug the hole on the top. But I'm probably just going to pour some weld over it. But right now I'm currently in the process of wiping down my surface to make a gasket seal. I need to make sure everything is nice and dry. A few moments later. So the last thing I did was 
I welded this bolt to the engine. I know what y'all thinking, it's probably a really bad idea, but it's the only option I had. Yeah, that's good enough. That bolt hole right there, I filled it a little bit with weld, so hopefully it doesn't unscrew while I'm running the engine. So I've poured in oil in my engine, and I'm currently in the process of putting my exhaust on in my intake, so I can actually start the engine and see if it works. Well guys, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, as y'all can see, I put everything back on the engine, the gas tank, I got a new carburetor, which I'll be showing y'all how to install in the next video. It's really awesome, improves the throttle response. I have that custom exhaust. We finished our mission. We've pulled out this nasty governor, which we don't need. We also pulled all this throttle crap, and we pulled the old carburetor out. We pulled the oil sensor, which in turn will give us more oil capacity. But yeah, I'm really excited where this is going. I'm really happy, and I just wanted to show you that the engine does work. I'm going to go ahead and start it. It's been an adventure for me. I've learned a lot and uh, hopefully y'all learned from this video. I did like making this video. If you're new, do subscribe. I want to reach a thousand subscribers by then this year. I really think it's possible. So yeah, if you're new, do subscribe. I have a lot planned in the next video. Uh, the Mikuni carburetor install, custom exhaust install, and I'll be riding it with some GoPro footage. I'm trying to push out content at least once a week, so stay tuned guys. But hopefully, y'all look forward to that. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.